text-to-voice synthesis provided by Vidnami. Organizational Goals for State Assemblies. January 5, 2021 by Anna Von writes. I thought this was perfectly obvious, but I have been convinced by recent events to write it down in black and white so that there is no further confusion. 1. Outreach and recruitment. You have to reach out to other Americans and share the information and invite them in. They depend on you, and you depend on them. If you don't tell them and help them, they can't get home to original jurisdiction on their own. They don't even know that they have been kidnapped and trafficked on paper, so don't underestimate the danger they are in, nor the urgency of what I am telling you, this is a rescue operation like Dunkirk. Save your countrymen, so that together, you can save your country. 2. Help people understand and navigate the paperwork and record it. 3. Help people join and participate in the assembly, either as state nationals or as state citizens. Explain the difference so that they can see which group they belong in. 4. Set up the four parts of a state assembly. 1. Everyone belongs to and participates in the general assembly, which addresses in state and local issues. 2. State citizens additionally serve on the international business assembly to decide international issues. 3. Everyone serves as a juror and as a member of the jury pool as part of the jural assembly again. State nationals and state citizens are both eligible to decide cases involving in state issues, while state citizens alone hear cases involving international subject matter. 4. Everyone who is fit and between the ages of 21 and 45 is eligible to serve as part of the assembly militia. 5. Hold elections for the officers of the General Assembly, International Assembly, the courts, and the militia. The chairman of the General Assembly is the speaker for the Assembly, not the president, not the CEO. These are not incorporated entities and have no such hierarchy. Everyone elected to an Assembly office has a job to do, nothing more or less. The sooner everyone adjusts their attitude to account for this, the better. 6. Once the assembly is organized and functioning on all four cylinders, the coordinator position sunsets. In some states, the liaison duties of the coordinator pass to the chairman. In other states those duties are passed to other assembly diplomatic officers, but in all cases, there will be at least one liaison officer who continues to faithfully bring forward information from and to transmit information to the United States of America, our unincorporated federation of states. 7. Your coordinator is naturally a member of the State Assembly in your State of the Union, who is working for the United States of America to bring your Assembly into session and build it into a competent, confident, educated, and properly organized, public body politic, which will serve your State of the Union and speak for it on both local and state matters and international matters. While working for the Federation, the coordinator will act as a state national and refrain from direct participation in votes concerning international matters. 8. Your assembly is your instrumentality, your means to self-govern. You all have the right to self-govern, but until and unless you exercise that right by taking action to self-govern and implement the means to self-govern, your right to do so is a moot point. You must govern, or be governed. There is no, resting position, available. So make up your minds whether or not you will be a free and self-determining, people, or, persons, dependent on and owned by corporations that will be glad to tell you what to do, how to think, how much water you can drink, and the amount of your yearly carbon deficit tax for farting without a license. 9. Understand that this is not about plums and prizes, offices or, powers, in the sense that corporations use and abuse these concepts. This is about serving your state, your country, and your countrymen, and fulfilling your obligation to self-govern. 90% of the nasty things that have happened to us, have been at least in part our own fault, because we didn't pay close enough attention to the quiet and steady usurpation of our rights and our government functions by our erstwhile employees. We blindly trusted them instead of directing them. There is a lot of ground to be recovered, a lot of public law to be enforced, and a lot of new understandings to be forged before these present issues can be resolved. In facing up to this, we are either part of the solution or part of the problem. By doing your paperwork and taking your place in your own state assembly, you are making a conscious choice to be part of restoring and reforming and directing the course of your American government. As you do so, you seize back control of your lives and your property, your destiny, and the future of your country. 
do it with resolve befitting the gravity of the situation and the sacredness of the honor, remembering how many have died and suffered, so that you have the right to assemble and take all of these lawful actions. As you rescue other Americans who have been kidnapped and left as helpless castaways in, international waters, be glad for them, and glad for yourselves, too. You are each the living embodiment of your state and your country. Be glad because you have the knowledge and ability to rescue others and bring them home. Be glad because you are not alone. Be glad that other Americans blazed the trails and sailed the oceans to make this possible and keep your will bent to the task at hand. Rescue as many Americans as possible and do it now.